Millie Bobby Brown, help me. This is not looking right. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be playing with Florence by Mills, the 16 Wishes eyeshadow palette, and I am so excited that I went ahead and picked this up. I also want to try her Zero Chill Face Mist. Feel free to subscribe if you would like to. Feel free to like this video if you would like to. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started with this video because I would like to. Okay, first things first, I got to put my hair up. This is $34 and it is being sold at Ulta right now. So you guys can go ahead and pick it up if you are interested in giving this a try. Maybe after you see this video, maybe not. We're gonna see how it goes. And the Zero Chill Face Spray retails for $10. So, all right. So those are the prices for that. And now we're gonna go ahead and open up this eyeshadow palette so we can have a look at what the color story is all about. Open it up. So there's a couple of things that I like about this eyeshadow palette. So you don't get a mirror, but that's all right. Let's take this plastic out of here so we're not looking at that. So here is the color story for the 16 Wishes eyeshadow palette. Now you've got some warm tones and some cool tones. You've got some really pretty icy blue and purple tones. Then you've got some pinky and purple tones in here. And we're gonna go ahead and swatch all of these. And I'm gonna probably do two different looks. So I'll have one look on this side, one on the other, so we can use as many colors in this palette as possible. Another thing that I really like about this palette is that these are magnetic and they separate. I really like that she did this. I think that's, I think it's clever and it's fun. Also Fenty, I believe has their little eyeshadow palettes that can click together. And I just like the whole concept of it is that you can just go ahead and, so. Before I do some swatches on the eyeshadow for you guys, I want to try this on my face. Let's see what kind of mister we have here. Give it a little shake. Take a second. Hmm. Hmm. It smells rose watery and kind of, yeah, it smells like sweet roses. So yeah, it's rose water. So let's try this. Hmm, that's nice. Hmm. It's got a nice scent to it. I don't know, I enjoy it. I like a good face mist. My absolute favorite is the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, so I think that's always gonna be my absolute favorite. So one thing to note about these, as you reach for them, you gotta be careful, they will come apart very easily. So, let's see. Let's start with some swatches. So I'm gonna break these apart and go ahead and swatch them this way, that way I can read off the names because they do have the names here listed on the palettes, which I also like, so. Again, with the glasses, and I'm going to swatch. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these down this way as I read them to you. So this one here is Freedom. Let's do a little swatch. And the next one I'm gonna swatch is Optimism, if I can get my hand in the pan there. So we got Optimism. Pretty. Next up we've got happiness. So we're gonna swatch that. Happiness right here. And the next one I'm going to swatch is love. You guys don't need to see the glare of my eyeglasses. I can read it alright. So let's go right here. And that is love. This is generosity. There's generosity. The next one we're swatching is peace. Put that right there. That's pretty. Next one we're going to swatch here in the palette is hope. This one right here. I hope. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. It's very sheer. Oh, and a little crumbly. I think I grabbed a little too much on that. So, again, swatches are just swatches. It's basically just so you can see the product. It, it's all about how it performs on the eyelid. So this next one I'm swatching is, where are you? This next one I'm swatching is Gratitude. Let's see what shows up for Gratitude. Oh, okay, so that's just a very light matte shade. They are a little crumbly, they are a little powdery, but we don't know yet. We're still gonna play with it and find out. So let's go ahead and wipe these off. I can say that they wipe off very easily. So, 
So next up, we're gonna swatch Bravery here in this palette. See, I'm looking in my mirror. So there's Bravery. That's pretty. And next we're gonna swatch Success. Ooh, okay. Next one we're swatching here is Celebration. Next one we're swatching is Friendship, and this is a different kind of feel to it. It's the, it's the shimmer, so let's try that. Let's go here. Did it show up? That didn't show up very well. That's not a very good sign. Let's try and give this a swatch and see what happens. That's Curiosity. That one showed up a little bit. Next one we're going to swatch is Appreciation. That right there. That one showed up. That's that's nice. That's not bad. We're gonna find out when I put it on my eyes. That's really gonna be what tells us what happens. This one that I'm digging into right now is strength. This one right here. And there's strength. Next swatch we're gonna go into is justice. So let's go ahead and grab some of that. And there's justice. Now this particular palette would be something that I would normally gravitate toward because these are colors that I really like, but I also feel like I already have a lot of these colors in my eyeshadow collection, so we're just going to see how this performs today and have a little fun with it. And that's that for that. So let's do the wipe off test. These ones seem like they have a lot more staying power than the other ones, so if that tells you something, I don't know. I'm going to put a little bit of this e.l.f concealer on my eyelids just to mute out the color and the darkness that I got going on there. So now because it was a little powdery when I was swatching it, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first just so I don't have to worry about messing up my foundation if it happens to have fallout in it. So the colors I'm going to play with today, now like I said I would normally gravitate toward these shades so I'm going to go ahead and try something different and on one eye, I'm gonna go ahead and play with these colors and on the other, well, I would gravitate toward these two. So we're gonna play with these today. I'll try and throw some of those in there too, but you know, I only have so much lid space, so I'm gonna use as many colors as I can. Let's put gratitude on my eye right here and see how this shakes out. I don't normally use blues and greens. Yeah, so you can see as I swirl my brush in there, there's a lot of kick up in the pan, but it doesn't mean it's a bad eyeshadow, it just means it's a little powdery, so. A little, little powdery. So let's go ahead and try this and see how gratitude performs. Let's see if we can get it to show up. Uh, okay, there we go. It's not super opaque, but I see it now. It's coming up. So far, it's yeah, it's lightening up my eye there. So I've got that going for me. I don't know, because in the pan it looks like it's not gonna show up. It's almost showing up like a white. In, in the pan it just looks a little bit more tan than, than it is on my eyelids. So, okay, that's cool. Let's go ahead and play with the, the shade, what is this here? Generosity, and that's this little green shade right here. So I'm gonna tap into that. And I'm gonna put that that right here. Let's do like a minty, maybe green kind of shade. Again, we're just playing around, so. Not really seeing it. She's very sheer. She's not super pigmented. Very light. It's a very light eyeshadow. There's a bit of a pearlescent, I believe, in gratitude because I see a, a shine on my eyelid there. So there's the green. It's a very muted, it's kind of bunching up right there in the inner part of my eye. I'm just blowing that upward. Huh. So it's. <laughs> so you can see that uh, it's not the most opaque eyeshadow that I've ever used in my life. 
But again, the jury's still out. I don't know, I'm still kind of playing around. And these are colors I don't normally gravitate towards, so I'm just gonna keep an open mind as I continue to play with this eyeshadow palette. And next I'm gonna go into Hope. And that is a very shimmery, light blue shade. So let's uh, get that off my finger. <laughs> let's try Hope and see if we can come up with something. That on my eyelid. I'm gonna go into bravery real quick and see if I can add just a little bit more, I don't know, something to this look because it, there's not enough with those two shades, those three shades, it's just not happening for me. So just looks kind of frosty and I, I don't know, I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of bravery and just kind of try and deepen up my crease just a little bit if I can. Okay. Hmm. Let's try. Let me just do something really quick here. Let me wet my brush really quick and see if I can get This shade piece right here, it looks really vibrant in the pan, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get that on my eyelid and see if I can get it to show up with a wet brush. So, let's try that. Oh, there it is. And there is some fallout. There's a lot of fallout, okay. I feel like when I wet my brush and I put the shade on, it's it's actually very pretty and it shows up. As far as the other shades in there, they're really not, they're not coming to the party. I wanna dip into my more neutral and warmer shades just to warm up the eye and see if I can get something going on. Otherwise it just, it's just gonna be an icy kind of, yeah, <laughs> I've gotta put something here. It's not, this is not gonna, I don't know. So I'm just gonna go over those two shades that I just put down because they're not performing well for me, so. Maybe it's my lack of talent, uh, I, I don't know, but um, it's not not showing up. And I almost feel like as I'm putting this on top, it's, it's blending away that blue that I just laid down, so that's kind of a bummer. Let's see. I can bring back a little piece just with my finger here. Just tap that on my lid. Hmm. Let me try a little bit of this Hope right here. It's a very iridescent shade. So I kind of want to tap this over piece and see if it does anything transformative to it. Oh, yeah, you guys can see there's a lot of fallout there. so. If you're gonna buy this palette, just be aware. It's uh, it's very crumbly, but you can blow it away, I guess, if you want to. Okay. Let's grab a little more appreciation. And see if I can't that my crease and also strength let's grab a little strength so strength is more of like a reddish brown kind of color and I'm just gonna try and deepen up this eyeshadow look a little bit yeah I am struggling struggling with this it's not my best eye look on that one I can tell you I swear I know how to do makeup I, I do makeup all the time but if you were first sitting down and watching my channel, you might be thinking, this lady has no idea how to do makeup. I'm having a hard time with these eyeshadows. They're not showing up. And I feel like I gotta keep packing them on to get any kind of color to appear on my lid. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna leave this eye alone for a second and I'm gonna hop into these colors right here. So, so we've got some really pretty purples and pinks. But again, I'm going to be dipping into this palette here so I can have transition shades because this isn't really a standalone portion of the program. I don't know that any of this is meant to be, I don't think either of these are meant to be standalone. I think that you need the neutral shades in order to do a cohesive look. But I thought I'd give it a try by itself and that's 
this is where I've landed so far. So let's try these. Maybe we'll have better luck. Let's go into success and we'll put that on my lid over here as my transition shade. Come on, work with me, please. Lawrence, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Millie Bobby Brown, help me. This is not looking right. Is that, do you see anything? Uh, all right, let's try bravery. Let's see how that works. It's gotta be one of the worst looks I've done in a while. I don't really, oh. <sighs> Let's go into justice right here and see if I can get a little depth in my crease. So now we're going to go into this palette here and we're going to try, what are you? Who are you and what are you doing in my house? We're going to try freedom. Let's give freedom a try. See what shows up with this one. I'm just gonna put that on my crease a little bit. I just want to play with the color and see what happens. All right, it's just a very light wash of color so far for this. Let's try strength and let's place that out here. Give me strength. <laughs> this is uh, quite an eye look for me. This is really turning into something. It's going to be something. It's, you know, whether it's something good or something bad remains to be seen. Right? We don't know yet. Next, we're going to go into love, and I'm going to go ahead and put that all over my lid and see how that shakes out. Again, it's, it's pretty powdery, so let's just tap that on my lid, or tap and drag, anyway. There's nothing. There. Uh, let's try it with a finger. Let's try it with a finger. There we go. Let's try a little bit of optimism. And I'm gonna pop that on the lid and see, I'm gonna use my finger and see how optimism shows up on my eyelid. Let's just tap it on there and see if I can, well, that's pretty. It's, it's a really pretty purple iridescent shade. It's very much like an eyeshadow topper, I think, but it's, uh, it's pretty, it's not bad. Ooh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and pop a little bit of happiness on the inner corner of my eye and see how that turns out. Happiness right here. So I'm picking up happiness on my pencil brush and I'm just going to place it here in the corner of my eye. I don't even know what to say. Um, I'm. Let me zoom you guys in so you can have a look of what I. Come have a closer look of what I've done so far. Oh. This lovely frosty blue nightmare that I've got going on over here, which you know could very well be me and just picking the wrong shades. <sighs> Might be me. I don't know. But here's what it's looking like so far. Oh God, I don't even know what to, okay. So, <laughs> wow, I don't, I don't know. I would, this is, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to take this off and I'm gonna try another look with this palette. Something that I'm a little more comfortable with because I feel like I, I just keep wanting to believe that it's gonna do better, so. Same face, same day. We're gonna 
we're gonna try something else. So I'm gonna do a repeat here, because I don't know what else to do. And we're gonna put some more concealer on our eyelids, and we are going to try again. <laughs> we're gonna really, really give this a try. And I'm going to play with this palette right here. These particular colors that I'm using right now have a lot more opacity to them, so when I did the swatch and I wiped them away, it, it did stay on my arm. Where is it? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry, Millie Bobby Brown. You're so cute and stuff, but I just, I want to love this. I really do. I, I want to love this. Let's try Curiosity on the lid and see what happens. So I've got picked up Curiosity and I'm going to go ahead and try and place it right here and see what happens. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing happened. Let me try my finger. Let's go back into Curiosity. I'm gonna tap this on my lid and see what happens. Oh, that is incredibly sheer. You guys see that? I'm like rubbing my, really making an effort here. So I just wanna make that prudently clear that an effort is being made. I'm gonna wet my brush with some NYX setting spray. I'm gonna go back into Curiosity, which I've, I feel like I've completely just mutilated, unfortunately. And we're gonna try that again on the lid. Okay. And this is the finished look. Okay guys, thanks for sticking around. See you later. Okay, no. Uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish the rest of my face off camera and then I'm going to hop back on and we are going to talk about this. I'll be right back. And we're back. So let's go ahead and review. I think that Florence by Mills is intended to be a lighter kind of makeup brand. If you're looking for opacity in an eyeshadow palette, unless it's my skill set, which it could be, it could be me and maybe not the eyeshadows, but listen, let's just see. When I look at these colors, I'm expecting vibrancy, I'm expecting something to show up and it just wasn't happening for me today. I I just wasn't able to make these shades work for me. That's not saying anything bad to Florence by Mills. It's just these, this palette did not. <laughs> I had to really, really, listen, I had to work my butt off just to get this look to work. And these are colors that I have a ridiculous amount of and use on a regular basis. So I think for that, as far as I'm concerned, I, I gotta say honestly, I don't really like it. I don't like the eyeshadow palette, which is really a shame because when I first saw it, I was so excited and I couldn't wait to come home and sit down and play with this eyeshadow palette. It has the really cool magnetic deal going for it, which I think is great. I love the concept. Uh, I like that she named it after her great grandmother. That's absolutely adorable but at the end of the day it's just not for me and that is my experience with Florence by Mills and her 16 wishes eyeshadow palette 34 bucks you want to go ahead and show your support hey more power to you maybe you have a better skill set than I do and you can really make these eyeshadows work for you I unfortunately was not able to get them to work for me but all that being said, I'm glad that I got to sit down and spend some time with you guys today. And it was actually kind of funny because it was funny. I, I had fun. I looked 
crazy and that's okay. You know, you gotta try it and you know, give it a shot. I, I couldn't help myself, it was there. So I bought it and, and now we're here and this is the finished look. So anyway guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. I truly appreciate you and I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Thanks, bye.